guys, welcome to Oxley Plant Nursery. I'm excited to show you around at our local shop. There is a reason why Oxley Nursery is known as Brisbane's best subtropical nursery. You'll see a huge contrast in the variety and quality of the plants compared to our trip earlier to Bunnings Warehouse. When you walk in, you are immediately greeted by an array of cacti, succulents, cressula, and euphorbias. This Euphorbia lactea, white ghost, is so striking. They've got heaps of plants and once again, I'll do my best to label as many of them as possible. The series for Bessia spiralis start to grow in a twisted fashion once they reach a certain height. These starfish flowers actually exude a mild rotting flesh smell to attract pollinators, so make sure you read the label first before you buy these. The bishop's cap doesn't have any spines and I'd probably suggest taking more care not to rub off the white flecks upon its grey green flesh. The variegated string of pearls apparently produces pink flowers, which smell like cinnamon, compared to the other variety, um, which produces white flowers. Oxley Nursery also keeps a hive of Australian native stingless bees, which don't produce much honey because the stingless bees are much smaller at 4mm in length. Nevertheless, they're fantastic pollinators. Oxley Nursery also has a huge range of beautiful plant pots and these adorable plant accessories. If you visit Oxley Nursery, don't forget to look up. They have these gorgeous plants on display everywhere. So Oxley Nursery actually calls this section the hangout. The hangout included a multitude of treasures in every nook and cranny. This Hoya Kumingiana was in bloom and it gave off a coconut fragrance, but I was just a little bit too short to smell it. The watermelon peperomia has large round striped leaves that resemble the skin of a watermelon. Tropical pitcher plants are carnivorous, and these pitchers contain fluid which are used to drown and digest their prey. Here the Hoya Crimson Princess produces pink blooms which smell like chocolate, which I had the pleasure of smelling one time when I visited Oxley Nursery. Behind this cage are some more mature plants you can buy. This is the Philodendron Gigas, which can produce leaves up to a meter in length, although it might be a bit more difficult to achieve this inside our homes. Caladiums have multicolored foliage. Here we've got a mixture of green, white, and red, but there's some super wacky colors which exist out there too. 
and of course the love of my life, the philodendron gloriosum, is a gift that keeps on giving, with large pillowy velvet leaves and white veining. The philodendron stenolobum has long narrow waxy leaves which can grow up to a meter in length. In comparison to the Syngonium Fantasy we spotted at Bunnings, the ones they're selling at Oxley Nursery are far superior in variegation. If you're after a super easy to careful plant with stunning white variegation, make sure you snag one of these at Oxley Nursery. The best thing about Oxley Nursery is that they sell these stunning plants that are already highly established like this Epipremnum panatum CB blue pothos that's mounted on a pole. The leaves have this silvery blue-green shimmer to them and it's a stunner. This is the Raven ZZ plant. The new shoots are green but darken to an almost black foliage with a purple-green hue over time. The Sissus discolor has gorgeous silvery green leaves and the underside is a deep burgundy. There's just so much to see. They have a huge collection of different Hoyas and I really appreciated the fact that they clearly displayed the name of the Hoya and the type of bloom you could expect. Even the splashes on these Hoyas were way more splashy than the ones we spotted at Bunnings Warehouse earlier. The Philodendron Brazil is generally a fast grower so I would not hesitate to buy a smaller specimen like this and gradually propagate it till you get a really bushy plant. Check out this massive Monstera adansonia, it's even fruiting. Once in a blue moon, Oxley Nursery will have a rare plant sale. Plant lovers all over Queensland will line up the night before just to get first dibs on some of these goodies. It's always a lot of fun peering into these cages at Oxley to check out the plants that are hard to come by in person. Just hit the pause on my video and like zoom in with your eyes, you'll spy a lot of highly prized plants. My favorite thing to do at any plant nursery is to visit the reduced plants section. On this particular day, I was lucky enough to find an Anthurium crystallinum. It did have a couple of yellowing leaves, but I felt confident enough that I could revive this plant at home, so I took it home with me. Hey guys, well I hope you enjoyed the Oxley Plant Nursery tour and let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of laid back content and I'll see you next time. Bye! Just, just, I'd be so sad.